40 questions, oh. including one or two for Sam, who we're going to bring out in a second. Oh, good. But the first question, Francis, that I got from most people was, how do you balance this issue with uh, translational and research? It seems like they're two very different worlds, and you've got to do both worlds. Well, NIH is totally invested in both the basic science which is a kind of investigation of how life works and how things can go wrong in, in, when disease occurs, and then how to apply that, this translational part. Yeah. And we do have to be sure that we have the balance about right, because if we only invested in the translation, what would we be 20 years from now when that foundation of new information wouldn't have happened? We do about 50-50 of each of those. We think that's about the right balance, and we depend on other partners all across the world to help us. And how about the call for young people? What are we doing there to try to get more young people into the sciences when there's so many other areas that perhaps are alluring to them? This is true, and I think we have a lot of work to do in terms of our K through 12 education to try to present science to people that looks like something they'd want to do. I got excited about science in the 10th grade from a chemistry teacher. I hope that a lot of other people are having that experience this morning, but I worry that some of our educational experiences in science in high school are not quite as inspiring as they might be. So, so that, I got to start there. Yeah. But then we got to spread the message and things like Ted Med about why this is the right moment. If you have any interest in science or medicine, come on, we need you. You know, why don't we bring Sam out? I know he's out there. Sam, come on over here and will join me. And I'm going to move over to this side of the stage so I can face both of you. Okay. And I had a bunch of questions earlier. Welcome back, Sam. We're glad you're here. Yes, Thank we you. are. Thank you very much. <laughs> so the first question that, the, that came from uh, one of the universities was, do you have other kids in your research that you get to know who are also uh, dealing with progeria so that you can talk with them as well? Yes, I do. Um, I know um, um, a kid from Canada. His name's Devin. He's a great friend of mine. I know kids from all over the country and um, kids from Italy and, and um, Denmark, everybody around the world. And, you know, um, when I get to talk to them, it just um, is good because we have so much in common with um, progeria. And then we get to talk about things that we don't have in common, like <laughs> interests. And um, it's just definitely, for me, puts a personality into... Um, just how we are, um, you know, uh, working to cure this, this disease, and it um, makes me feel really good, and I hope it makes um, all the other kids feel really good when we get to talk about those things. Yeah. Do you use social media? One of the questions came in quite a bit, or is it something you just don't find time for? Um, I don't really use social media. I, like you said, it's not really something I find time for. I, I just um, tend to, you know, stay within my own interests, and... Um, yeah, so that's, that's just something that I have not um, gotten into and something that um, I have uh, that I'm not um, so excited to get right, into. Right, He's too busy you playing. Got, it's just a busy thing. You, you got this day thing going on. drums in the band. Exactly, makes a lot exactly. Of this time, oh, you got him in the does, band. Yes, the Francis Collins stuff. and Kids yes. Band. We there. needed you this morning. I think a little backup would have helped there. Well, I want to thank you both for joining us on the Ted Med stage. It's thank been an you. honor and a privilege to have you, Francis. The singing is great. Great to be here, Jake. Sam, Thank good you. to see you. Amen.